So in lesson 6-7, um, we're going to be talking about translations. Another way to talk about translation would be to say we're going to slide the shape. So when we're talking about reflections, I often said the word flip. A translation is more like a slide. All right, so if it says copy triangle EFG below on graph paper, then draw the image of the figure after a translation of three units right and two units up. So it's just a little bit of counting here. So we want to go three units right, so one, two, three, and two units up. And that's where we're going to put E prime. Same thing, one, two, three, one, two, and that would be G prime. And for F, it's the same thing, one, two, three, one, two. So actually, F prime is going to be exactly where G is. And then we can connect all of these. And this would be triangle E prime, G prime, F prime. Um, another way to think about it is you're going to take your X and you're going to add 3. And you're going to take your Y and you're going to add 2. Because whenever you go to the right, you're adding to the X. And whenever you go up, you're adding to the Y. So wherever you are is X plus 3 and then Y plus 2. All right, so for the next example, we're going to um, go two units right and four units down. So again, it'd be x plus 2 and y minus 4. So whenever we go down, we're subtracting. So let's go 1, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's where our a prime is going to be. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's where we're going to locate C prime and 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 is where we would put our B prime. And then we can connect those um, the same way we did the others. Okay, so there we have uh, triangle A, B, C, and we have triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So graph triangle ABC with vertices negative 2, 2, 3, 4, and 4, 1. So that's already been done for us. Then graph the image of triangle ABC after a translation of 2 units left and 5 units down. Write the coordinates of its vertices. So again, if we think about it in terms of X and Y, we're going to take X since we're going to go 2 units left, so we're going to subtract 2. And y is going to be subtract 5, because we're going left with x and down with y. So it's minus 2 and minus 5. Um, so when we're done here, we're going to want to know the vertices a prime, b prime, and c prime. Um, you can do it either mathematically, or you can graph it out and then find it. So let's do it both ways so we can kind of see it. So we're going to go 2 left, 1, 2. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll go down 5 to get our A prime. Now if we look at A prime, we are 1, 2, 3, 4, so negative 4. And we are down 3, so negative 3. And we looked at, if we look at regular A, the original, we had negative 2. Well, negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4, and 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So we could have done it mathematically, or we can do it by graphing it. All right? So let's continue. So let's go with C. We're going to go left 2 and down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to find our C prime right here. And then B, down left 2, down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's where we're going to put B prime. All right, so let's go ahead and make our triangle, and then we can finish writing the order pairs for the remaining two points. All right, again, we could do this mathematically. Looking at B prime, we're going to do 3 minus 2, which is 1. And we can check here, and look, we go to the right 1. So that matches. And then B is 4 minus 5 would be negative 1. So 1, negative 1, and that's where we are. All right? Same thing with C. We were at 4, so 4 minus 2 is 2, and that's where we are, 1, 2, right there. 
And then we have 1 for y, and 1 minus 5 would actually be negative 4. So we're going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so again, just trying to show you that we can do this either mathematically or by graphing it. So again, we call this a translation because it looks like we're just sliding it in that direction. We're not flipping it, rotating it, turning it. Um, we're not doing any of those things. We're just sliding it or translating it. All right, so triangle PQR has vertices negative uh, 1, 3, 2, 4, and 3, 2. What are the coordinates of triangle PQR after translation of 2 units right and 3 units down? So notice here how I didn't include a graph. So let's figure out our rule. Okay, we have x plus 2 because we're going right. And we're going to do y minus 3 because we're going down. All right? And now let's go ahead and figure out P prime. All right? So we have negative 1. Negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. And 3 minus 3 is going to be 0. So P prime is going to end up at 1, 0. And moving on to Q prime, we're going to take 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. We're going to take 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. All right, so Q prime is going to be at 4, 1. And then R prime, we're going to take 3 plus 2 is 5. Then we're going to take the Y coordinate, which is 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So R prime is going to be at 5, negative 1. So again, we could go ahead and graph that. Um, but I just wanted to show we can do this mathematically without having the graph at all, okay? All right, so if triangle RST is translated four units to the right and three units up, what are the coordinates of point T prime? So they don't need us to do everything. They just need us to find T prime. So we're going to go four to the right, so one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go 3 up, so 1, 2, 3, which is right here. Okay, and so T prime would be 1, 2 after the translation, uh, 4 units to the right and 3 units up. If triangle LMN is translated 4 units left and 2 units up, what are the coordinates of point L prime? So we just need to find L prime, and we're going to go 4 left, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're going to go 2 up, 1, 2. And then we've got to find the actual coordinates, so we've got to go with the origin, 1, 2. So that's negative 2, and we're going to go up, 1, 2, 3. So that would be my answer for where L prime is going to end up um, after this translation. All right, so uh, you can find your homework assignment on Moodle. Um, you know, translation is just like saying slide. We're just sliding the shape um, on the coordinate plane.